this is shatarupa and welcome to rasayanika so hope you all are doing well so today i am going to talk about top 10 most important fellowships that are very very important to pursue phd in india so phd or a doctorate degree is the most important and valuable and also and respected degrees among india and all over the world so students uh, not only a good important degree this also beside this this also give you a chance just to have a very wide idea about any particular subject also to have a chance to have a higher degree education uh, with more focus on academic line also and also more research oriented ideas so students have a very 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 enthusiasm in this and also they have a dream just to have a phd degree or to just have a chance to have a higher degree of education so but the fact is uh, so many students they are not aware of this fellowship programs that are very very uh, important and that with the with the help of those we they can pursue their phd uh, in india from any the university or research institutes so today i have brought top 10 fellowship program that uh, with the help of which you can pursue your phd degree from india from any any other uh, universities or research institute or government or private universities okay so uh, let's begin Yeah. our number one fellowship program that is csir ugc not net fellowship okay so csir and ugc jointly on biyearly basis they organize the national eligibility test that is net examination but a uh, national testing agency that is nta from last two or three years they organize the csir net examination so once you crack the csir csir net exam with the jrf that is junior research fellowship then you will be given a uh, you can actually pursue your phd from any research institute or government university or any other uh, you can pursue your phd with the fellowship of 31000 per month for first two years with the jrf that is junior research fellowship post and 35000 per month for the next remaining 3 years as srf that is senior research fellowship fellow so uh, just i want to know make you know if you uh, if you have not cracked the csir net exam with jrf but you have cracked the ls that is lectureship then you can also pursue the phd but the fact is you will not be given the fellowship from any universities or research institute in that case but for that case you need to apply any other fellowship program just to have the fellowship to pursue your degree and other most important fact about the csir ugc net fellowship that is if you are the top 10 rankers of the csir net exam so it is a very good opportunity for you then you will be your fellowship fellowship directly converted will to uh, into the dr shama prasad mukherjee uh, fellowship and while uh, once you clear this uh, interview that is conducted by csir so if you have been selected on that case then your fellowship will be for the first two years it will be 36000 per month and for the remaining three years the fellowship will be 42000 per month so it's a very good opportunity you should not miss that number 2 fellowship that is institution fellowship through gate so if you have a gate clearance then you can also pursue your phd degree from any central or uh, state government universities or research institutes such that uh, at so many universities as not everyone so many universities and the research institutes actually they allow you to pursue their uh, phd with the fellow with the same fellowship with the csir net with the same amount of fellowship uh, but but that will be institutional fellowship so you can pursue this degree from any uh, institute like such institutes like our uh, iits any iits any nits iisc bangalore the um, iscs that is, that is indian association for the cultivation of science kolkata also iiast shipur and also some central universities they will allow you just to have pursue your degree with the institutional fellowship with same amount okay next our next fellowship is prime minister for research fellowship that is pmrf it's a very good opportunity for all those students if you are a topper in your master degree course in your university in your batch or also you are having the 8.0 cgpa 
and in your master degree also i can say if you have the 80% marks in your um, uh, during your master degree course basically so then you will be given you will be selected with the while applying this prime minister research fellowship program and only under some central universities and research institutes they will allow you just to pursue this prime minister research fellowship uh, fellowship uh, just to have your uh, degree phd degree and in that case you will be given a very large amount of fellowship that is 70000 fellowship per month for first two years uh, in the third year you will be given 75000 fellowship and also in the last third and uh, fourth and fifth year you will be given 80000 fellowship per month okay so this is a very good opportunity for you all so you should not miss that number 4 number 4 fellowship is csir ugc fellowship through project okay so if you are not actually if you are not jrf qualified qualified with csir net but if you there is another opportunity if you are, if you want to very very interested to pursue your phd degree so then you must be at first register yourself as a phd candidate under any government state or central government universities okay or research institute with what with a project actually as a project fellow then uh, you have to also you have to be uh, show there that you have to show there that uh, you have already completed two years in as a project project fellow uh, under a particular project in that university under any particular guide PhD guide and also you have to show that you are uh, you have a um, per research paper with any author present any author position with any author position you should have a research project, uh, uh, proposal or research, research paper sorry so then you can actually directly apply this scheme and after clearing the interview conducted by csir you will be selected as a normal csir ugc fellowship uh, fellowship then fellow uh, fellow actually and you will be directly converted then into SRF that is senior research fellow as a senior research fellow student third year senior research fellow student and the fellowship will be same as the CSIR and you will be given the same amount for the rest of the three years okay this is an another very important and very good opportunity or scope I can say for you all if you just pursue you are pursuing in a, under, um, in a research project any under uh, PhD guide in any universities then that's how you can pursue your PhD yeah number five is this dst inspire fellowship so if you are a dst inspire fellow from just your bachelor degree course or your bsc program or undergraduate course till your master degree course if you are this dst inspired fellow then you can pursue your phd with the dst inspired fellowship for the all the five years and your fellowship will be same as that of csir net okay in the same amount and you can thus pursue uh, your phd degree from any under any institute research institute any university like state or government universities okay Number six, our number six fellowship is DST Women Scientist Fellowship. So this is a very good opportunity for women candidate. If you are a woman candidate and also you are in the age limit of 27 years to 53 years and also you have minimum amount of two years of breakage after your master degree then you are definitely eligible for this fellowship program and after selected being selected you will be uh, uh, get uh, you will be getting their dst women scientist fellowship and for the actually for the three years you will be given the fellowship and uh, per month the fellowship amount will be the thirty one thousand uh, per month actually for the uh, uh, but for the three years actually hold the three years but the fact is you have to apply for this case with a particular research proposal and you should be there as the applicant uh, obviously applicant but the principal in investigator or the primary investigator or pi we can say so once you are selected then you will be given this fellowship and for the, uh, by this fellowship you will be definitely can pursue your phd program okay so yeah our number seven number seven fellowship that is central or state government university fellowship through red so there is uh, another opportunity that's how you can uh, pursue your phd program from any state or state government uh, state or central government universities so just do you have to clear the rate exam then that is the uh, that is the uh, 
research eligibility test okay so that is mainly conducted by all the state government universities mainly so once you clear you can pursue your phd degree with the fellowship for all the two years first two or i can say all the five years maybe the range will be from 28000 to 31000 for the five years okay within this range you are getting the fellowship and that's how you can pursue your phd from any state government or central government universities okay Number six, okay, it is number eight. Number eight fellowship is Swami Vivekananda Fellowship. So, uh, Swami Vivekananda Fellowship is uh, another fellowship and I will say that is this fellowship is for the financially backward students uh, who really want to pursue their PhD program and in that case you will be given 8,000 fellowship per month uh, for the four years with the 10,000 contingency yearly and uh, this is for the financially backward students and also i can say only you will be given this fellowship under the state government government universities especially the west bengal government university this, uh, those were allow this will allow you also there is another this type of fellowship is like molana azad national fellowship fellowship you can also pursue this uh, your phd with this fellowship but uh, from obviously under any central government universities and also you should be minority minority people minority student okay so this is a great opportunity for them and also i can say there are so other minority uh, st uh, student fellowships uh, program are there those are national sc fellowship national uh, st fellowship national obc fellowship those with those with uh, with those with the help of those actually you can apply and uh, once you are selected then you will be getting this fellowship to pursue your phd okay number 9 Number nine fellowship is Indira Gandhi Single Girl Child Fellowship. So there is another opportunity for girl child obviously, but if you are a single daughter, also you are a twin daughter or twin child, so one of you are eligible for this actually category for this fellowship. So uh, if you are selected, in that case you will be given 25,000 per month fellowship for first two years for pursuing PhD and also 28,000 fellowship uh, to 10,000 fellowship per month for the rest of the three years or the remaining 10 years for you. So this is another great opportunity for the single girl child fellowship but you have to get this uh, PhD degree not in science. You have to uh, get this degree in the case of humanities and also social science. So in that case you will be eligible for that. Okay, this is an another opportunity for a girl student also. Yeah, our number 10 or the last fellowship, that is the fellowship through SERB or industrial projects. So if you are not um, cracked yet the NET, CSI and NET exam or other get something like that. So there is another opportunity uh, by the non-NET fellowship, you can continue your PhD degree from any universities or research institute, okay? So for that case, uh, you should be allowed for that particular organization or un universities and also you need to apply with some or you need to work with some industrial project or SAR project, especially SAR projects or industrial projects, you need to apply with those. And uh, you need to thus, with the help of those, if those, both the organization that is the industry or the authorities, that is the project uh, authorized, authorization also the universities from where you want to pursue so both if you uh, both allow you then you can register as a phd candidate there and thus you can continue a phd fellowship a phd with the fellowship of project from project that is project fellowship and thus you can pursue your phd degree this is an another opportunity that's how you can pursue a phd with a non-net fellowship okay so yeah, today I have talked about this top 10 actually the fellowship program. There are lots of fellowship program, but these are the top most important fellowships uh, by with the help of which you can continue or pursue your PhD degree in India. So hope this all will help you and so all the best everyone and thank you.